Wait, is, is that a seal? It's finally happening! No, 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 no. The seals, they are too powerful. Polar army, unite! Excellent. So, first, the spacebar now attacks your weakest enemy. If you just put your slider up at 5% and then just spam the spacebar, you'll actually do a pretty good expansion. Uh, yeah, hi, Sir Farah. I've got a question. Uh, what can you do with... Wait, what's his name? Johnson? J Jason. What can you do with Jason files? I was just gonna explain it. Ugh, I freaking hate that guy. Um, but where was I? Oh, I was gonna explain how to use the JSON files. So first thing you want to do is you want to download a template. It's just like an example. I'll uh, put one in my Discord and the link to my Discord will be in the description of this video. So then you're gonna have this file and I will now explain how to use it. This is the amount of bots you want in the game. This is the mode you want to do. This is what map you want to play on. Here is a list of all maps. Here is the seed map, it's like in Minecraft, it's a variational map, it's like you can do variations in desert and swamp and maps like that. This is to choose whether or not you want to be able to pick your own position, uh, right, true, all lowercase if you want to be able to pick your own position, false if you don't want to be able to pick your own position, then it will take the position you have described in the map or random if you haven't described anything, but that's for later. Um, here you can choose whether or not you want to pick your own name. If you write false, then you won't be able and will take the first name you wrote in your file. We will see that later. Here is whether or not you want to be able to pick your own color. If you write false, you will have to specify in the file or it will give you a random color. We will see that later. This will be the name of the map. You will see this in the left screen. It's like Europe. Um, this is a description, usually that says like how many pixels there are in the map or something like that. You can write whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. These are the coordinates of you and the bots. This is, is the X value and the, this is the Y value. Um, it just means X goes from left to right, zero is at the left side um, and with every pixel it goes up one. Uh, y is from the top to the bottom, 0 is the top. Every time you go up one value, you go one pixel down. This is the team distribution. You will pick for every bot what team they are on. You can only have 8 teams. If there are less values than bots, the sequence will repeat itself. So then you're gonna have someone in team 1, someone in team 2, someone in three, team 3, someone in team 4. And then the next person will again be in team 1. Here you can select the color of each player by using the RGB values. I'll uh, put a site where you can do that in the description. And these are the names. Map base 64 you don't need to worry about that. Um, that's, uh, that is to import custom maps, I think, but we can do that the old-fashioned way. I'll show you that in a bit. If you now want to play on this JSON file, all you need to do is drag the file into your screen like this and drop it and if you then also want to play on a custom map with the names you gave to your bots and their positions and colors and etc you just need to drag the custom map into it as well and then you can play on a custom map with named bots uh, whose position as you can see are determined by my, my coordinates so yeah enjoy